Hello, Ryan. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. And you? I'm good too. Thank you. Do Do you hear me well? Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ryan, for accepting uh, this uh, invitation from uh, Tennis uh, Universal. So, Tennis Universal is an Instagram page who wants to promote tennis through a social vision with two main questions. How does tennis influence society and how does society influence tennis? So thank you for taking your, your free time. And so we will speak about your uh, tennis vision, your uh, tennis activity in, uh, in Brazil, in uh, Curitiba. So when you are ready, we can uh, start. So I'm very thankful for this. I'm very happy to be here. And well, my name is Hayane Parreira. All right. <laughs> Brazil, but it's cool the way you say I like it. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry. I, I, I pronounce that um, in the French way. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. It's not the name. Can, can, you, so, can you tell me again your name? Hayane. Hayane. Yes. Hayani. Okay, Hayani. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Hayani. So, um, I created the tennis blog Brazil uh, one year ago, and it's about talk about tennis in a different way, in a more easy way to make everyone feel part of that. Like uh, that was my first idea, and that's what I what I always try to put in the page. And I also part of Papo de Tennis. It's a podcast that we talk about tennis in a general way and in more of Brazilian tennis. All right, cool. And so um, when, when did you start to, to create this? The podcast or tennis blog? Uh, the tennis blog. One year ago, All something right. close. Yeah. And, and what about the podcast? It it was already existed before I I started. It's I think something around one year too. All right. So um, you, usually my first question is the following one, uh, Hayane. What does tennis mean to you? Oh, like. My biggest goal is to become a tennis reporter. I am a journalism student. And like it means something that it's a big part of my life. I always like to of every kind of sports. Uh, here in Brazil, we love football. Oh, is the, of course. <laughs> it, can be not, it cannot be other thing like Brazil football. And, but tennis is my... It was to be my, it used to be my second one, but now it's my first one because it's something that I want to work with. All right. So uh, it's funny because uh, you are talking about football. Uh, I, I saw on your Instagram page that d during the, the World Cup, you, you had the uh, Argentinian jersey. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> Why? In first place, I was... We, Everyone here, it's for Brazil, but we really love Messi here. I'm from the south of Brazil. Okay. Everyone loves Messi, but here in the south of Brazil, it's a little bit closer to Argentina. So, like, my dog's called Messi. We really love him. Wow. And I'm so happy when he won the World Cup. Sorry, friends, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But why did you choose to call your dog Messi? You... You could have um, uh, called him, I don't know, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Rivaldo, Kaka. I mean. His face. Ah, okay. He, he, okay. He, he, he looks. He, in Portuguese, little Messi. Okay. He, he looks like Messi, actually. Yeah, yes. I All right. <laughs> All right. And so uh, I just saw uh, today that uh, uh, Curitiba um, was not so far from Sao Paulo and, and Flo Florianopolis. Yes. And, and so it's funny because uh, Sao Paulo, it's the city of uh, Beatrice uh, Adan Maya. And, yes. and, 
and Florianopolis is, is the city of Guga, uh, Gustavo okay. Cuerten. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the Brazilian tennis player that uh, won three times Roland Garros. So, uh, c can you can you speak about uh, those two persons, uh, Beatrice Adad Maya and Gustavo Cuerten? First, um, Bia, Beatriz. Yeah, she's great. She's so talented. And I think, um, first of all, she's a fighter, you know, like she, so much powerful. I think she is. And yeah, let's see what futures hold for her. But everyone in Brazil who likes and talk about tennis, he's the moment. She is the moment. Everyone gets so much uh, expectation in her. And we want to see her winning everything. It's a little bit hard, but she's almost top 10. And we really, really, really wish she, he could, she could um, go to top 10. And what about uh, Gustavo Cuerten? He's my favorite player ever. Right. And you know, like the persons here of the South were a little more like Brazil, it's, it's a whole thing, you know, but it, when you were closer here in, in, in South and he's the best, he's so cute. <laughs> His personality is something really, really good. And what, what he did, it's incredible. It's just no one will, I think, we hope that we always wanted to see the Brazilian players uh, doing well. But I don't think that would, we would have another Guga. I think he's the only. The only. All right. So I have one friend, uh, Louis, who says Paqueta. Uh, it's a good name for a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Paqueta already played in France. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he played uh, for Lyon. For, yeah, he's good. For Lyon. That's yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and 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 Luis is um, a Lyon Lyon fan. Oh. His favorite team is uh, Lyon. That's why he, he wow. is speaking um, about Paqueta. So, uh, can you help me, please? Because there is a uh, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro yeah. Deiren from Papu de Tennis. All right. All right. Nice to meet you, Pedro. C can you uh, translate, please, what he said? Yes. Um, he said that I was shining so much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my English, I'm. I don't think it's really good. I'm trying. And, um, no, it's good. It's good. And say, and he said that we're together. Nice, nice. nice. Thank you, uh, Pedro, for participating uh, to this live, and thank you for um, for watching. Uh, all right, so. Uh, when um, when did you start to play um, tennis? I started in the school when I was something around seven or eight years old, but I was never so good in that. The other kids was way better than me. Uh, all right. And um, what is your best memory of uh, the childhood when you were playing tennis i mean uh, um, what did you like to do on the on the court um, what was your favorite shot yeah like i was saying i was not i was not so good the other kids was better than me way better than me but i i was very uh energetic child i was and I would like to just be on the court, like moving myself, you know. And I, at first, I, I, I could serve, no good. Oh. But <laughs> it was getting a little better. All right. And um, what, what did you like the most? Do you like to, did you like to attack, to defend, to go to the net? To attack. Why? I think I, I like because it gets more emotional for everyone, for the players and for the others around. All right. And uh, so um, can you um, tell us, because, uh, you know, um, uh, yesterday uh, I, I had a, a live uh, with uh, Sebastian 
from uh, Santiago de, de Chile, and and he, he was uh, talking about the tennis tradition in South America, uh, especially in Argentina. Like uh, Argentina is the is the big brother, uh, you know, of, of all the South American countries in, in terms of, of tennis. Uh, Chile had great players, also like uh, Marcelo Rios, Fernando Gonzalez, uh, Christian Garin today. Uh, Brazil also, yeah, Brazil also has a good uh, tradition. Um, can you can you tell us about your vision of the um, uh, Brazilian tennis uh, tradition? Well, I think Brazilian tennis it's so much about Guga. He's a legend for us. We love him. He's um, here in Brazil. A lot of people used to say that we have three heroes. It's Pelé, legend, and Ayrton Senna, and mm. the three heroes of Brazil. Wow. And they made history. And I think B and now Luisa Stefani and Rafael Matos, who won the Australian Open in doubles in January. And there's a lot of, of good players. And we like to support them. And, and Papu de Tennis, we always put the results on the page. And yeah, we always wanted to see them winning, like Argentinian. I think now we have more Argentinian players here in South America, more Argentinian players um, with the best uh, um, ranking. Yes. In Argentina, but Brazil, yeah, we have um, potential. Um, I remember um, some years ago, I, I used to really like this player uh, playing. He, it was uh, Thomas Bellucci. Uh, what, what, what do you think about this uh, player? You know, now he's uh, he has uh, retired. Yeah. Uh, of uh, from tennis, what do you think about Thomas Bellucci? He retired in he Open, so significant here. And yeah, he was a fighter. I think it's something about South, South America players in all the sports. It's so much, you know, especially in Argentina, but in Brazil too. Tomás was a, a great fighter. And, and like he said, in the, in the day he retired, that he he wins more than he really thought it would happen so mm -hmm. yeah. so you were talking oh. about yeah you were talking about uh, rafael uh, matos and um, luis stefani so they, they are playing uh, in doubles uh, do you watch a, a lot of um, doubles tennis game yes especially when we have brazilians <laughs> playing but we used to do this. And the person more likely with the doubles, it's Pedro Dairel from Papu de Tennis. All right. He knows everything. Okay. Okay. So I, I need to, to do a live with him uh, in the future. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Pedro, if, you, if you're here, uh, we can do a, a live uh, very soon. I'm going to tell you uh, later. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, you know, we, we can talk actually about uh, many things. Um, you, you say that you, you used to, to like uh, a lot of football. It, it was uh, your first uh, favorite sport. Uh, and now it, this is the second because of, uh, of tennis. Uh, w w what, do you, what do you like in football? And how, how do you compare football uh, to tennis? Uh, football, it's all about passion here in Brazil. Like my team, I have a team that I love, <laughs> that it's such a big part of my life. It's Coritiba. Mm -hmm. It's in the first division here in Brazil. Thank okay. you, God. <laughs> and it's so good. We have, uh, we have um, fans really, really, really crazy for, for Coritiba. And I like of Grêmio. I think yeah. you know Grêmio. Yeah, I know Grêmio, yeah. And Atlético Mineiro. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, Ronaldinho, he played yeah. there, no? Yeah, the best. <laughs> Such a... <laughs> no, I, I love Ronaldinho because uh, he, he played for Paris Saint-Germain. Yeah. Uh, when, 
when I was uh, six years old, you know, I, I used to go to to the stadium, to the Parc des Princes, with, with my uncle, and, oh, and, Ronald, and Ronaldinho wa, was there, so it was, uh, wow, <laughs> it was uh, incredible. Joga, Joga Bonito. See, magic. Just magic. magic. Yeah. Crazy. And so uh, it's funny you are talking about the passion, the passion in football in, in Brazil because uh, in Brazil football it's like a, a religion. Um, and how, how do you how do you see tennis in, in Brazil? You, you told me that uh, it's uh, it was about Gustavo Querten in the past because he is a legend. Today it's with uh, Beatrice uh, Adad Maya. But I mean, in, in terms of popularity, football is the number one. And uh, what is the number two? What is the number three in Brazil? For me, mm -hmm. um, what I see, like, what I see, for me, it's football and tennis, like my favorites. But um, what I observe here, it's that foot, uh, tennis is in the top five, for sure. But football, volley, we love volleyball here. Um, Formula One, you know, like yeah, cool. cars. Okay. Yeah. Because of and, and, Ayrton Senna. Ayrton Senna. Yeah. And we love Hamilton here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Everyone and, likes him. And you don't like uh, Max Verstappen? I think Brazilians prefer uh, Hamilton. Hamilton, okay. I okay. I understand so much about this sport, but... I think, yeah, for Brazil, it's Hamilton, it's number one, <laughs> always. And, and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I remember also um, uh, Rubens Barrichello. Yes, Rubinho. Uh, Rubinho, yeah. I, 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 is he really popular in uh, Brazil? Yeah, he's still popular. Cool. And, um, yes, uh, what, do you, what do you think about uh, women tennis? Uh, in, in Brazil, uh, of course, there is Beatrice uh, Adanmaya, but I, I, I know that she played in doubles with uh, Paola Paola Gonçalves. Yeah. Yes. And and how, how do you see women tennis in, in Brazil and in South America generally? We do have um, Olympic uh, winners mm -hmm. uh, Laura Pigos, Stefani, and Tokyo. It was so good to see. Everyone gets really emotional watching. And, but for me, it all started with Maria Esther Bueno. She okay. played a, a long time ago. He won Grand Slams. Australian Open, I think it was the Grand Slam. He, she most uh, winner. She had more wins. And yeah, she's a legend. Unfortunately, she passed away in 2028 i think okay but yeah yeah it all started here with maria Esther bueno she's an inspiration to all the players the girls all right and uh, uh have you met in a real life um brazilian tennis player or not only brazilian but i mean all the tennis players uh, have you met um Uh, tennis players in uh, real life? No, never. Uh, my whole family was so much from football. For football, like go to a stadium, watching all the Sundays in the middle of the week. So I, I have more uh, experiences with football. But I really wish, I really wanted to meet uh, a lot of tennis, play tennis players, especially Guga, because he's not so far away from me. We're close. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so, um, what is your favorite uh, Big Slam? The, the, the one that uh, you, you love to watch? Um, I, I love all of them. I would Yeah, I would be between Wimbledon and Australian Open. Okay. But you told me, oh, you have to trip and go to see. I would like to see Australian Open. Why? The energy all around. I think it's so great. All right. I, I'm surprised you didn't say Roland Garros <laughs> because yes. of, of Guga, but, but okay. <laughs> no, no, no problem. 
And uh, so, um, would you say that um, Brazilian uh, people watch a lot of uh, tennis uh, at the television? Yes. Or not really? Yes, yes. Um, we have two channels that talk more, talk more about tennis, who is ESPN, you know, like ESPN Brazil, and Sport TV. Sport TV always the Grand Slams and the big tournaments it's we watch it in these two channels all right who do you like the, sorry who do you like the most between um, Novak Djokovic Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer whoa oh my god and <laughs> <laughs> um, here in my house um, everyone started to really watch tennis like my father my brother My mom a little, a little not so much, but my father and my brother we started to watch when no became something, you know. Like... Just started to win Grand Slams and sure Novak is the first one, but Nadal it's such an example of love for tennis uh, with Murray that that's incredible I really love Andrew Murray and Feather for me um, to the interview to interview to the live <laughs> I thought yeah. uh, about this tennis uh, with the society and I think that Feather example of it I think that tennis was already amazing before Roger Feather But after him, it became something so much bigger. Like, mm -hmm. he, he the history of this sport, for me. All right. No, no, I, I, I understand. And um, so in Brazil, in Brazil, uh, do you think uh, that the persons like most Djokovic, Nadal, or Federer? Whoa, it's... I cannot say it's really different. It's balanced. It's yes, balanced. Because of Novak friendship with Guga, mm. the person, yeah, everyone loves him here. Because right. it was funny when it, it was really, it's really nice when they meet. And, but all of the three. All right, cool. For sure. And then it's the three and Guga. That's for, for us. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice. nice. So uh, Novak Djokovic uh, won uh, the um, Australian Open uh, in January this year. So the next uh, big slam uh, will be in May in Paris in Roland Garros. Who who do you think will win uh, Roland Garros this year? It depends of the physique of Nadal. He play if he played, he will win for me. <laughs> it's incredible how good he plays in Roland Garros. It's it's her home. Like in yeah. Spain, but something about him uh, would be France because French because Roland Garros is so special for him. But I think Alcaraz, uh, it's really stronger, and I don't think Djokovic would. I don't know. I think it's more like. My more probably to win Wimbledon or US Open. But Roland Garros, I think it's it possible get Nadal and Alcaraz. Uh, are you surprised by the level of uh, Carlos Alcaraz? Or do you think that he, it's normal what he's doing right now? Well, everyone, a lot of people say that he's the new Nadal. Um, I think I agree with that. He's really good and so much. The Spanish thing, I don't know. They are so energetic playing. I don't know what to say, but uh, so, uh, being part of this top 10 for so many years. Top 10 or top 3, I would say. Mm -hmm. and, and another name. So... No, no, go, go, go. Sorry. Sorry. Another name that calls me attention is Holger Holm. 
younger, young like Alcaraz, but so good. I think the future of tennis is in good hands with them. Yeah, uh, I believe uh, I believe so. And um, in terms of uh, women tennis, uh, who, who do you see uh, in the future uh, playing well in, in WTA? My favorite <laughs> is Sabalenka. She's so nice and really a great tennis. But I think you will get for some time Iga, Hibakina, and Sabalenka. That's what I see today. All right. And uh, in the history of uh, tennis, who is your uh, favorite uh, woman tennis player? Serena. All right. The, a goat, yeah. <laughs> the goat. And, and do you, you know, there are some uh, rumors about uh, her comeback. Maybe she will uh, come back, maybe not. Wh 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 what do you think about that? Do, do you think that uh, it's possible that Serena could play tennis in the future again? I think everything is possible to her. <laughs> she is a queen. She's a queen of tennis. She's the queen. And yeah, it would be really nice. And I just heard that Del Potro. Will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juan Martin. So nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Juan Martin Del Potro is such yeah, a, a legend. Um He, he, he didn't. He didn't have a, a lot of uh, luck with uh, his body because of uh, uh, injuries. So that, that that's really yeah. That, that's really tough. Uh, okay, so uh, there is uh, Pedro. He says on peut faire le live en français ou en anglais. But Rai is an expert in women's tennis. <laughs> he, he... Oh. <laughs> Hey, Pedro speaks well uh, French. That, that, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. And, and uh, yes, so you, you are the, Ayane, you are the expert in uh, women's tennis. I thought. He's just saying that to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I have um, two, two questions before of, of finishing the, this live. Uh, has the COVID-19 changed your tennis approach? Not so much because um, I always used to play with my family. And here in... So we... In the pandemic time, we used to play in, in the house, and no, not so much, but it's... All right. So right now, uh, this is the, the end of the live. I have a final question. If, if you have to pick up three, three words to describe tennis, what would be the three words that you would pick to, to describe tennis, uh, Ayana? Ah, uh, I meu Deus, oh my God. <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, take your time, take your time. Humility in first. Humility, all right. Sorry, my English is not so good, guys. No, no, but, no, 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 it's okay. Humility, uh, yeah. Resilience. All right. And... and In first place, I think tennis is about belief. Okay. Believe in yourself, in your work, who are close to you. Yeah. Oh, we have a, a little oh, it problem. Was easy. It was no, easy it's, okay. it's okay. I hear you now. Yeah. I, I didn't hear you the last uh, uh, five seconds. Sorry. To pick up the words. I thought it would be harder. <laughs> no, it's not it's not so hard. <laughs> Again. Yes. So thank you. Thank you for um, uh, accepting this live. Thank you for taking your time. Uh, I, I learned um, a lot of things about uh, 
Brazilian tennis, uh, South American tennis. And uh, I, I wish you the best for, for the future. And what's your favorite between oh, Nadal, Federer sorry, and sorry, sorry. Djokovic? Go, go, go. Federer. Personally, my, my favorite is Djokovic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You know, no, I, I, love, I love Djokovic for, well, for many reasons. Because, um, you know, he, 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 he arrived after... Uh, Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, and you know, I mean, uh, he, he, yeah, he started to be really good in in 2000, 2007, 2008, and you know, not a lot of people uh, would have bet on him, and and you know, he, he was the only person who 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 believes who believed that he could be better oh. than those two players so j just for that you know to me he, he, he deserves a lot of respect and you know uh, when when you see what he's doing in 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 grand slams uh, you know against federer he, 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 he won um, he won more matches than than him uh, against nadal it's it's balanced but you know uh, I, I, i'm sorry for rafael nadal but you know he, he won the australian open last year But Djokovic was not there, so you you, you see what I mean. The U.S. Open last year, uh, Alcaraz won, but Djokovic was not there. So, yes, to to me, to me, uh, Novak Djokovic, yeah, to, you know, to me, Djokovic is the greatest. But if you if you tell me that Nadal is the greatest or Federer is the greatest, I I, I can I, I can uh, understand it. But personally, I prefer Djokovic. Yeah, I think, I think he will be the tennis player with more titles in the history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you, okay for that. Yeah, but but it's um, you know, it's a tricky question. It's like uh, it's like sorry in football with uh, with uh, Pelé, uh, Messi, Neymar, Zidane, Maradona. You know, you you for all those players, you have uh, arguments. You know, you have arguments that could be well. Uh, you, you you can say good things, bad things on on them. So he, 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 it's it's really personal, you know. Maybe there there, there is not one only uh, truth, yeah. you, you know. You are from you are from France, and yep. I have to say, Mbappé, <laughs> I get so nervous with him in the oh. World Cup fight, but he's yeah, a yeah. top player. No, he's a uh... You know, he is only he's only 24 years old. He's only 24 years old, but he he's already a, a legend. You know, that's uh, that, that that's crazy. You know, it's uh, wow. You know, uh, of course, uh, yeah. You know, he has already won World Cup. He was in final last year. Um, you know, so I, I'm also a Paris Saint Germain fan. So I hope that he will uh, he will stay in Paris Saint Germain, but. You know, I'm I, I'm afraid I'm afraid that he, he he will he will leave soon. Unfortunately, I believe that, but may, maybe he will not. Uh, we will see in the future. But you know, for 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 the sport, it's really great to have persons like uh, like Kylian Mbappe. You know, it's it's a, it's a good ambassador of of sport in, in the yeah. world. Sure. And talking about friends, I really love Gael Monfils. Yeah, me too. Me too. Such a legend. Yeah, legend too, but he 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 he, he was uh, injured. He was injured yes. uh, last uh, last week. So you know, uh, everyone here is wondering if he, he will be able to come back on tour. Um, you know, his uh, his uh, his goal is to play the Olympic Games next year. But yes, he, okay. you know, because it's in France, it's in Paris. So 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 he, he he wants to play at home, but you know if your if your body uh, doesn't fit, if your body is not working well, uh, you, you cannot be on the court. So I, I'm a bit afraid for again, to be honest. Yeah. But it would be so nice. Mm. I hope that mm. yeah, that's right. With yeah. Me. Thank you, you Ayane. Thank you so Take care. much. I wish you all the best, and if I come to. 
Curry Tiba, I will uh, I will uh, reach you. <laughs> okay. I'll be and, waiting. And if, if you... I go to Paris, Miguel, I'll tell you. Or see Messi. Let's see. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Bye. Thank you. Thank you.